Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Jerdan Shakiri SBC player release today. Uh, this is basically just the rare gold card as of right now, but the thing that we are going to be looking at when it comes to whether or not this SBC is worth doing is base characteristics potentially being improved and whether or not he himself will actually get any improvements in the future due to the team that he plays for, the league that he plays for, and all of that good stuff, right? So, uh, with this game, guys, I do feel like with the dribbling, you do want to try it out in-game as much as possible to see what the dribbling is like. Because some players, man, it's weird. Some of them have, like, really nice sharp dribbling, and some of them just really don't, which is very strange. So you kind of have to get used to that a little bit, right? Not used to it, but it's just it's something that you have to actually try out with the players in this game. I feel like in previous FIFAs, you didn't really have to try it out as much, right? So... Uh, with Shakiri, uh, we're taking a look at a card who is five star skills, four star weak foot, medium low work rates. Okay, so medium low work rates right away tells me that I want to use this card in the cam position because of the way this card is currently set up, right? Uh, medium low usually is a nice work rate to work with through the middle, but this year with the attacking AI working a little bit differently, it could be a nice thing to work with on the sides. The problem is that he has 65 stamina, right? So with this card, you have to kind of bank on the fact that he may get two improvements, right? As much as possible, but we'll see, right? We'll see what the base characteristics are like in-game. So he's left-footed. Uh, in-game, we are going to be giving him a Hunter chemistry style because of the pace being set up at 77 acceleration, 73 for sprint speed. Uh, I mean, you could you know, completely ignore the pace if you really want to and just give him a finisher chemistry style and kind of revolve your play around just general buildup. You could totally do that for sure. But I do feel like for now, a hunter chemistry style could be the best choice because with the way that the dribbling works this year, um, it doesn't really feel like it is a necessity to give a dribbling boost, which is like the first thing that, or the first time that this has happened in like years in my opinion right like with Ronaldo I was trying him out with like a, a hunter chemistry style and I was like this is this is cool you know but I could give him an engine if I want right but again we'll see in game when we're trying out this card uh with base card stats he does have 70 finishing so again you do want to improve that as much as possible we're giving him a hunter to give him that shot power boost all of that good stuff traits he has Set play specialist, flare, long shot okay so no finesse shot trait but guys I mean the finesse shots are pretty crazy in this game so we'll be um I'm going to try them out, but I'm not going to try them out that much because it could be nerfed by a lot, right? So that's why I have to see those types of things. Passing is good, so in the cam position, he should play that role really well. Dribbling we will be experimenting with in-game. It looks okay from here because he's five foot seven with a Shakiri body type, right? So it, it could actually work out well. We'll see. Uh, and then for physicality, stamina is low. So again, you want to keep him in the cam position, probably in the stay forward instruction. Um, and then he has like 71 strength and all that good stuff, right? So again, when we try out this card, we just have to see what his base characteristics are like and whether or not the improvements will be good. So so the way that we are going to be lined up with Jerdan Shakiri in game is going to look like this, guys. So we're going to be using him in a 4 2 3 1. Just basic stuff, man. Not going to touch too much over here. Um, unless I become super familiar with another formation or tactic, uh, and I understand how players move in that specific formation and tactic like last year, um, I don't want to influence it too much, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to put Jordan Shakiri over here, Oxlade Chamberlain over here, and then we're going to have the rest of the team like this. So what we're going to do here is this, this, this. Uh, cover center, cover center. And this is on stay back. Okay, and then the rest of it will just move as it is. So yeah, we'll try him out in game. Hopefully he's a beast in the cam position. By the ways, guys, uh, we are playing on the PlayStation 4 version of FIFA because to be honest with you guys, it is better than the PlayStation 5 version. So that's why we are over here. West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say with good reason. Ooh, gotta love those skill moves, man. See, that's what I mean about the dribbling, right? Like, I don't have a dribbling boost on him, but his dribbling still works fine. That movement right there was actually really good. Very aggressive. Medium, low, working well. Oh, hello, another one. Oh, I tried to do, like, a first-time fake shot right there. <laughs> it didn't work out, though. I timed a little bit off there, to be fair. Should have done another shot cancel right there. Yeah, I had to do another shot cancel. That was not going to work out. So what I will say about Jerdan Shakiri's card so far is that his dribbling does feel noticeably weird, right? It's something that you do notice right away, for sure. Oh, 
go high up the pitch. Martial. Oh, thank goodness it switched there. Thank goodness it switched there. I was like, please make this switch. Okay, so a couple things so far, right? Obviously, having five-star skills really great on this card. Medium-low work rates is actually working out really well for him. Again, through the middle, definitely really nice, making very good aggressive runs, which is very cool to work with so far. Uh, the thing that I'm noticing first off, again, is that dribbling. So dribbling boost is definitely going to be a necessity for this card for sure. Because he kind of he kinda has like this like tubby body type it's kind of influencing it a little bit you know yeah, see i try to get like a shield off right there fouls me right there i try to get like a shield off but he has that like thing to his touch a little bit uh he has 75 penalties so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do this and then we're gonna go left side nice we'll take that I might have to try him out with a finisher just to see what the uh, dribbling is like with that. Like, if the pace is not that high, it's not necessarily, like, a big deal. But, obviously, with future improvements, you want that to be improved as much as possible. Yeah, it's that dribbling that you do have to... Uh, look out for a little bit from this card as of right now that's definitely something that needs to be improved if that's improved that could be great to work with see i'm showing you guys man like the medium low work rate is actually being super aggressive in those areas like he's actually making those runs himself You can see, right? I did the fake shot. The dribble right after that fake shot kind of has this like weird thing to it, you know? As well as persistence in the build up. Shakiri. Oh. Kylian Mbappe. Oh, I'm trying to get that pass off to Shakiri again. <laughs> Gonna do it though. Gonna do it. The pitch. And there it is, the half time whistle. After this game, guys, I'm definitely going to be giving him uh, a finisher chemistry style because I do want to see how he performs with that dribbling boost because I feel like it's going to be very, very important for him. Nice. Regular body feint? Cool. Body feint actually worked out well against the goalkeeper right there. Yeah, so in that situation, if you guys were actually watching the controller, I don't touch the left stick, okay? I just make the player touch the ball how he wants to touch the ball, and then I use the left stick to dribble into space really quickly. Um, Pulisic, obviously, in the side position does well, and we score that opportunity. Stamina is already depleted. I am using him a lot because of the sake of the review. Oh, you got the angle. Yeah, there he is. When you get that angle, do not touch the ball anymore. I'm telling you, when it's like, when you aim it at a 45 at the goalkeeper like that, and you could just shoot it, just shoot it, guys. I'm telling you. it's it's. I, I, was, uh, I was analyzing the game a little bit before um playing the game myself and that was like the one angle that i saw that just like kind of worked out really well for shooting so okay guys so for this next game uh we're gonna be giving him the finisher chemistry style because i want to boost the dribbling right to see if maybe you know potentially in the future if he gets any sort of dribbling boost whether or not it actually plays better yes i'll be lacking in the pace in regards to utilizing that attacking ai and that quickness but you need to be able to test out each individual thing uh, from these areas because if his dribbling is nice with the skill moves that he has then that'll be cool right because uh, of the body type that he has right so yeah let's try him out like that I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson and this has all the makings of a highly engrossing match so he still has like this like physical aspect to his dribbling with the finisher chemistry style but you can definitely tell that his uh, touches are definitely more sharp which is very good to work with in this game it's very touch and go type movement guys like you don't want to actually dribble that much but 
if you are going to dribble, you want to be able to test it out too. Because if you guys have dribbled with uh, Mbappe yet, any of you guys who have who have those kinds of teams, his dribbling is phenomenal, right? So. Yeah, the sharp touches after the skill moves, that's what I'm looking for, right? He does that there too. Oh, the pass wasn't actually that bad. I, I thought Martial was going to make a different run right there. Nice. What's your movement over here? Okay, so you can see that how Pulisic is kind of like occupying that middle spot now. Shakiri has switched with him. Not a bad thing to do because if you get that left foot angle with him and you want to use the finesse shot, you definitely could, for sure. Regular body feint seems to be the go-to, eh? Interesting. In this game, guys, when it comes to the shooting, like, unless you have players that have very high shooting stats, like Mbappe, Neymar, Ronaldo, uh, the shots will definitely be more RNG, for sure, but you still need to work those high percentage angles, right? Like, just kind of how, kind of what you have to do. Oh, I almost got that one there, too. Look, man, even with a finisher, he's still pretty aggressive, you know, so... There you go. Nice strike from that angle. I, by the ways, I absolutely love that his player actually allowed me to go through his legs because he wasn't controlling him. Love that. <laughs> okay, guys. So final verdict on the Shakiri card. So again, guys, this is an OTW item. So I'm basically reviewing the rare golds card from a base characteristic. And we're looking at potential improvements in the future, right? So we gave him a hunter chemistry style as well as a finisher chemistry style because you want to test him out uh, in regards to attacking AI, what he's like with a pace boost, uh, what his dribbling is like from a base characteristic. So what I will say is that because Shakiri has his own body type, the way that it works with his dribbling is it's kind of like Tubby in a way, right? Kind of like a Wayne Rooney type of body type with the way that he dribbles on the ball. Uh, from a base characteristic, it's not as sharp as I would like it to be. Like for instance, I was using the Christian Pulisic rare gold card and I actually like the way that he performs from a base characteristic, right? And this is the very important thing. I always say base characteristic in all my reviews because it's very important for future upgrades, right? I know that Pulisic, if he gets some sort of inform or something, could be a really sick card, right? With Shakiri. I gave him a finisher chemistry style as well as uh, the hunter to trial both, right? So pace, dribbling boost. With the dribbling boost, I noticed that his dribbling was sharper, but I also noticed that from his base stats, they do need to be improved. Very, very important in reactions, in ball controls. It kind of feels a little bit more responsive. If they boost the dribbling as much as possible, it will work great with the five-star skills because five-star skills is always nice to work with, right? Uh, with shooting, guys... Like, I scored the opportunities that I scored, but some of them were higher percentage strikes than other, right? The other, the most important thing with this card is the fact that his shot power is already at an 87. So when I give him the finisher, boosting it to a 97 was definitely very, very helpful. I always tell you guys that I'm really big on shot power being higher than finishing because you're still going to try to work the high percentage strike angles as much as possible, right? So from the two strikes that we scored from that 45 degree angle, from the angle downwards, he scored some really good opportunities, but obviously with shooting stats like that, he could potentially miss them as well, right? You kind of have to feel out the way the card like dribbles and how he shoots. His shooting comes off good because of the way that it works with the body type from shot powers, right? Just from regular shots across goal and stuff, those work out well. The finesse shots, I feel like you kind of want to have a player like Mares and stuff, right? But Again, with future improvements, could definitely be very nice in this card. Uh, here's the thing. You're going to be banking on whether or not he gets upgrades, right? And for me personally, this this isn't a card that I would personally do myself, right? Uh, for Leon Shakiri, how many, how many improvements is he going to get? I don't know, man. I don't know if he's going to get that much improvements. But even if he does, I'm not crazy about the way that he dribbles, not crazy about it, but it did feel a little bit better when I was 
giving him the finisher chemistry saw. But look at the finisher chemistry saw, guys. It's a really big boost. Because even in the future, if they improve dribbling, you're still probably going to give a dribbling boost to it. And they still need to improve the pace. Like, the pace needs to be, honestly, like, I would say 82 acceleration with, like, 79 sprint speed. And then the dribbling for base card stats would have to be improved by a lot, in my opinion, to work with his body type as much as possible. Uh, attacking a guy from medium low work rate, perfectly fine. Didn't really mind that too much. Uh, very aggressive. Even with the finisher, he was still making those runs. Uh, but it's definitely the dribbling that I noticed the most that's being a little bit weird on this card because of the way that his body type works, even with a future improvement on the card. So will he get two upgrades in the future? I don't think... I, I don't know. I, I don't think he will, man. It's like a Matuidi situation, like a Matuidi card from last year. Nah, it's, it's, I'm not crazy about like the potential upgrades in the future for him. He could be a cool card, but uh, it's a lot of improvements that need to be done. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. There's going to be a lot of videos today, boys, so strap on, boys.